Hey friends, Jessica here. So today we're going to have a little fun and I'm going to show you how to make like some really cool kind of a, like kind of a Swarovski crystal um, brush stroke in Photoshop and kind of like you have like rows of crystals like you would on a dress or something. So this could be really fun and add some really cool accents to your designs. And we're going to be using none of the brushes from my 24 karat collection, but we're going to be using this palette that I created to make some gold ones. So I'm just going to show you how, how I'm doing this. So to start off with, I have a brush tip that looks like this, which is just a series of dots which are aligned and equally spaced. And you might recognize I'm actually starting with this brush that I had used on a previous um, a previous tutorial where I was making a brush that like kind of looked like tubing that looked like this and it was inspired by a Met Gala look. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually taking that brush and I've got the settings. I'm using it as a mixer brush with a dry heavy load and rather than I'm going into my settings and before it was like spaced out um, there was no other setting set but we just had the spacing at 10%. But for this design, I'm going to put the spacing up to 100%. And if I um, go like this, then you're going to see it still has the color load from before, but it spaces these out kind of like crystals. But we want something more sparkly. So now we're going to, I'm going to make a new layer here, and I'm going over to my, now with this, um, brush stroke more spaced out here to 100%. Now I'm going to go over to my gold sidebar and I'm going to option or alt click over here in this area and actually I think I'm going to take my brush size down a little bit. So I'm going to option select and that's going to load up some of those gold colors into my brush and then I'm going to go back over here and I have it setting on dry heavy load. I've got the 100% settings. And then if I draw a stroke like this, you're gonna get these really cool kind of, it looks like, um, you know, like crystals, like you would have like crystals um, all in a line, like on a dress or something. And it, you can all play around with like where you sample from, how big your brush size is. So it's loading whatever colors are underneath there. So. I can just have a little fun. This one looks a bit lighter, but it can look really cool and elegant. Um, and you can make some really cool crystallized kind of brush strokes like this. So you can just have fun. And um, I'm just do using these gold ones that I made because I think it's really cool. So I'm just going to sample from down here and try something different. But I love to make like these, um, like a little kind of a liquidy sort of shape like this. I think it looks really cool, really organic, and it looks like crystals, you know, and what's cool is not, not every row is the same color, so it, it just looks really like, adds this cool depth. So you can just have fun with that, and oops, just cut this over. Let's pop back over here. I'm just going to go grab one more sample just to have a little fun here and just show you what you can do. But it can just look really cool, and I just have this like goldy background. I think it looks really neat. This, this, I like this selection a lot. But I love just, um, just playing around with that. So you can just have a lot of fun. You can make some really cool backgrounds. Um, just really neat. And what's cool is, you know, you can use any image you want. So, for example, I have this like um, uh, sparkly image that I, it's actually from like Adobe Stock or something. But you can just sample colors from any image. So just have fun and experiment with it. So if I like, I'm going to go option, click, and I've got a pink background I made over here. And then I can go like this. And that's like so pretty and dreamy. So I love, I love having a little fun and making some kind of cool shapes like this. But it's, um, you know, it's all about sampling and kind of experimenting and getting the right proportions because sometimes if you sample too big, you know, you're not going to get those, um, it to give the same kind of illusion. So like if I was going to make this like increase my brush size really big, depending on the image, I'm going to option click here. It might not look as cool. So, you know, just depends. Actually, that looks pretty darn cool. 
but you know, it's all about getting the right sample size and, you know, just kind of having some fun with it. But I love it. I think it's a really cool technique and you can just create some really lovely sort of crystal looks. It looks like Swarovski crystals to me. So, and if you find yourself, it's like not so smooth, you up here is like the brush smoothing. So you can take that up so that you can make sure that your strokes are like really lovely and smooth like that. Um, because if I take it down to zero, maybe my, you know, if I'm trying to make a smooth stroke, it might not look that smooth, but put that smoke stroke smoothing on. And then that way your curves can look really elegant and really nice. And just, um, you know, it looks like something that might be hard to make, but with the power of Photoshop brushes, it can just be so, so easy. So I love it. So hopefully you guys have fun with that. And, you know, you can recreate your own brush like this, um, you know, put some circles space it out. You can do this yourself. Um, for my, uh, I'm going to put the, some brushes already loaded up for you on my Patreon. So if you're one of my tools and tutorials or A-list creators, um, I'll have some brushes that you can download on my Patreon later today for this. And um, don't forget though, if you ever change the brush size on Mixer Brush, you're going to lose whatever color is there. In your brush and it's going to revert to the last um, whatever you sampled so that's fun to play with you know but um, I'm, I'm adding those brushes to my patreon but you know just so you know if you're using those brushes and you change the brush size the color is going to drop out of there so you know you'll want to sample from your own image or you know just get an image online because it's it's not like you're using this image on a you know a the whole image you're just sampling some colors from it so it's cool and you know gives you a lot more leeway and you can grab a glitter image offline or something you know online anywhere and sample the colors from it so very cool hopefully you guys enjoyed this tip and make some really cool excuse me there make some really cool stuff with it and don't forget to tag me on your creations and let me know if you have any questions